Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then welcome. My name is Millie and I make videos on makeup and fashion and beauty and skincare and all sorts of different things and today I am going to be testing out this. This is the Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Skin Tint Tinted Moisturiser. I originally picked this up because I absolutely adore the L'Oreal Water Tinted Cream. This is absolutely my favourite sort of foundation. It just works amazingly so I wanted to see if the Revolution one was any good as a comparison between the two because they were around about the same price. I do believe they were both around about the £11 mark but the L'Oreal one is 30 millilitres and the Revolution one is 55 so you get a lot more product for your money and I wanted to see if they are comparable. I do end up having to take it all off and reapply it. There is a whole process that goes on here so I'm not going to ramble on any longer without further ado, let's just get on into the video. <laughs> So the products that I am testing out today is this, this is the Revolution Super Dewy Skin Tint Tinted Moisturiser and the reason I picked this up is because I absolutely adore the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream and I thought that these might be a good like copy for each other. Around about the same price, I'm sure that this was like £10.99 and I'm sure that this was around about the same price but... I am sure you get more product in this one. Let me see. Yes, you get 55 millilitres in the Revolution one and you get 30 in the L'Oreal one. So just something worth noting. I do really, really love the L'Oreal one. So we'll see how the Revolution one compares. I will be doing half my face with a beauty sponge and half my face with a brush just to see what the finish is like and if I prefer it one way or the other. I have also fake tanned so my skin isn't the colour that it says on the tube but I'm hoping that because it's just a light coverage that we'll still be okay. So I have no idea um, you know what the coverage is like or how much of this I'm going to need so I'm going to just start with one pump on the back of my hand. Okay that is a lot thicker than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be a lot more watery than that. And I will go in with my makeup sponge and just start. <laughs> yes, that is very light. <laughs> Okay, so that was one pump. I've used all of that off the back of my hand and obviously that was the half that I did with the beauty sponge. Um, I will also just say I haven't got any other products on underneath this. I would normally, on a normal day, have the L'Oreal Glow Cherie underneath my makeup but because I'm testing this and it's new, I just wanted to see how it sits on my skin with no other products. So, first impressions are... The colour is okay, it looks a little bit light but I have got a fresh layer of fake tan on so in a day or two I'm sure that will be fine. The coverage is not as good as the L'Oreal one. It definitely hasn't hidden any of the like redness across my cheeks. I do have an extra bit of redness on this side um, but yeah like down my nose it's still looking quite red and this spot is like not covered at all. So I will go in with another pump on that side again. Okay, so that is the second layer. And from what I can see in the viewfinder, that looks absolutely fine. From what I can see in the mirror, it looks awful. It hasn't layered up well at all. I will just zoom you in so that you can see because it looks like it doesn't look good. Okay so like I said I know that this spot is quite bad but just ignoring that all of the texture on my skin here can you see that here and around my nose there's just a lot of sort of texture going on. My forehead looks okay, generally speaking, a little bit dodgy here, but here, 
what is that? So maybe this product just doesn't like being applied with a sponge, which, I mean, if that's how the product wants to play, then fine. So I will go in now with, oh, I think my pump stopped working. around about one pump let's just go with it and i'm going to go in with my oh again revolution <laughs> forgot that this is revolution as well and stamp that into that and work it into the brush a little bit like so and then Okay, so that was less than one pump like I do still have some on the back of my hand and I will just take that off so it doesn't get all over my nice white jumper but that certainly does look better on that side with the brush there's still a little bit of funky texture going on around my nose just the same as it was on the side with the beauty blender and but everywhere else it does look a lot smoother it hasn't sort of like where here it had all like gone like it almost looks gritty that's what it looks like it looks like there was some texture in the actual foundation rather than i don't know it just it's sitting really weird but on this side it does look okay and i did need less product um, to get the same amount of coverage and in fact even looking in the viewfinder i would say that this side is looking paler than this side which says to me that because i was fake tanned underneath and this colour is too light for me that this side has more coverage um, and coverage isn't necessarily a deciding factor in whether or not I like this product if you have been here before then you will know that I like this the L'Oreal one because it doesn't have a lot of coverage and because it just feels really nice this feels quite heavy on my skin it feels like a normal foundation and I don't mind that if it is a normal foundation but this isn't it's just a tinted moisturizer and it's not giving me the feeling of wearing a tinted moisturizer so maybe i'll take this off and try just rubbing it in with my hands that's an idea so i'll just go in with some micellar water on one of my um garnier eco pads um just a follow-up from that video these wash really nicely they come out just as soft they work really well after they've been washed multiple times i am a really really big fan so i will take all of that product off okay so we'll go back in with the tinted moisturizer this pump's definitely broken that's as much as I've got <laughs> like so <laughs> this just feels so alien to me doing it with my hands Ooh, I hate it and I feel like it leaves a really funny texture as well but if it works for this product then it works okay so this is why i don't like doing it with my hands because then it's all over my hands obviously but i, I don't know i am not a fan of having to apply products with my hands i just i don't like it but yeah i don't like applying it with my hands it hasn't covered any of my redness it has again made me look a little bit gray um it hasn't I mean, I was never expecting it to cover that spot, don't get me wrong, but it's not at all covered any of the colour or anything in that spot. So it doesn't do anything that it says it should do. So it does say on the back here, lightweight tinted moisturiser gives the skin a radiant dewy finish enriched with wild berry extracts. Enrich it with all the extracts you want. It doesn't do anything. It just feels like a very thick 
moisturizer that isn't actually doing very much for my skin it doesn't look dewy i don't think do you think it looks dewy i don't think it does i feel very matte i feel very mm, yeah i am just not a fan i feel like I looked better without it. I feel like my skin looked better without it. I definitely looked more dewy and sort of that healthy glow without this foundation, tinted moisturizer, water cream, whatever on. Um, so out of these two, it's got to be the L'Oreal one. This one actually works. It actually gives a little bit of coverage. It actually covers redness. It does what it says it's going to. It gives you that glow. This one is just yeah not very good so if you liked this video please consider giving it a big thumbs up that really does help me out a lot if there are any other products like this one that you want to see tested then please leave them in the comment section down below and i'm more than happy to get my hands on some new products to test out and until next time thank you so much for watching bye